video is about banana coffee intercropping, which is commonly practiced in Uganda, particularly by Arabica coffee growers. We will try to explain that when properly managed, farmers earn more money from banana coffee intercrop system than the monocropped coffee or banana. Coffee and banana from the economic base for the majority of small-scale farmers in the Great Lakes region. Because banana is harvested throughout the year, it doubles as primary food, thus creating food security, and also provides a modest but continuous cash flow throughout the year, which is helpful in meeting daily living costs. Coffee is harvested twice a year and provides a seasonal cash boom. When banana and coffee are intercropped, research findings show that farmers earn more money than in either coffee or banana monocropped systems. For example, research findings conducted in Uganda have shown that monocropped Arabica coffee fetches an average revenue of 1,728 US dollars per hectare per year. In the same study, monocropped cooking bananas fetched an average revenue of 2,364 US dollars per hectare per year, while intercropping coffee with banana fetched 4,441 US dollars as average annual returns per hectare. The coffee banana intercrop, therefore, gives an average double increase in revenue because of increased production from the same area of land in the same time compared to either monocrop banana or monocropped coffee. Banana coffee system does not affect coffee yields, implying that coffee yields from both mono and intercropped systems were almost similar. Coffee plants are known to be shade loving and therefore don't suffer from the shade that the bananas create. Bananas help to improve mulch for the coffee and banana plants that both have a shallow rooting system. The mulch helps to suppress weeds, conserve soil moisture, and reduce erosion. The mulch also helps improve the organic matter and nutrients content of the soil. The shallow roots of bananas and coffee perform well under mulch. In order to realize good returns, farmers are advised to adhere to good management practices such as regular pruning of coffee trees and maintain the desired densities at ratio of two coffee trees to one banana mat. Research is ongoing on optimal plant densities, but is estimated that that for Arabica coffee should be planted at 1.5 by 3 meters and banana at 3 by 3 meters in areas with high rainfall i.e. 1,400 millimeters per year while in dry areas i.e. 1,100 millimeters per year coffee can be planted at 2 by 3 meters and the bananas at 4 by 3 meters regular desuckering helps to check banana densities if coffee or bananas are left unpruned, then competition for water, light, and nutrients can become too severe. In this video, we have seen that banana doubles as a primary food source and income, while coffee provides a seasonal cash boom. We have mentioned that banana and coffee intercrop is more profitable than the monocropped system of either coffee or banana due to increased production. We've also looked at the advantages of intercropping banana with coffee and some of these are at the right spacing banana coffee system does not affect coffee yields. Coffee plants are shade loving and therefore don't suffer from a light banana canopy. The banana system provide high biomass turnover which helps produce mulch for the shallow banana and coffee roots. We have also mentioned that on top of good management practices, which are regularly pruning of coffee and desuckering banana mats, plant densities should be maintained at ratio of two coffee plants to one banana mat.